I always find it comical when Christians in America want to screech about intolerance and persecution. They probably have the most freedoms out of any religious people anywhere else in the world. Their beliefs have managed to influence laws, the education system, and public life all over the United States. As activists, one of the things that Godless Engineer and I do is work to reduce the encroachment of religion on our freedoms and rights. But we still can't go anywhere without having Christianity shoved up our asses. And I'm not even talking about the baby Jesus butt plug. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Casey's Corner. Today, I thought we could have some fun and go through some of the funnier religious products on the market. I'll leave out all the boring shit. Rosaries, Christmas shit, figurines... Which, by the way, there are some really fucking creepy religious figurines. So let's start off fresh with Christ candies. Now, there are a lot of different religious confections out there, and they're basically offshoots of regular candies. Like Smarties knockoffs, Jesus jelly beans, Spirit of Fruit Snacks, Faith Pops, and Testaments. All the candies have Bible verses on them, and according to one Amazon reviewer, hit the nail on the head for their religious gathering. Phrasing woman, you're a Christian. As I recall, hitting nails on the head is kind of how your savior was killed. In any case, my favorite religious candy is Jesus Harvest Seeds. Sounds like the kind of seed you can't spill lest you be killed. Oh, here. According to Amazon, it's award-winning candy corn made with real honey in individual bags, which each feature a unique and inspirational Bible verse. They have pretty high ratings to boot. (laughs) Look at what this lady said. These were a perfect alternative to secular candy at Halloween. What the fuck is secular candy? Was this review helpful to me? (laughs) No. No, it wasn't. Okay, next up, the U Testament video game. Basically, your character is a martyr looking for your chakra powers while following the footsteps of Jesus. Just don't hug anyone. Apparently, hugging is how you get someone pregnant, and even women characters can get the men pregnant. Fuck the patriarchy. Moving right along to grow your own Jesus. Now, this particular Jesus doesn't walk on water. He kind of soaks in it. And if you do it right, he'll grow up to 600% his normal size. Wait, are we still talking about the Jesus thing? (laughs) Apparently, this particular novelty is great for believers and non-believers alike. And according to the packaging, Jesus is always there for you and he'll never judge you. I'm sorry, what? That's not fucking true. The Bible repeatedly states that not only does Jesus have the authority to judge, but that's what he came here to do. And when you die, you go before the judgment of Christ. Well, this fucking lion ass product. Hold on. I need to write a review. So next up, we have the Jesus soap dispenser. Now, this isn't the only Jesus soap dispenser on the market, but it is my favorite. Wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. Bitch, if Jesus was real, you wouldn't need soap because that motherfucker would save you. While we're on the topic of soap, this is the and Jesus washed soap. According to the packaging, it washes away everything but your sins. Well, ain't that a bitch. I was online perusing for soap to wash away all my sins from being a heathen, and here you tell me that this Jesus soap won't do? Fuck this soap. One star. Okay, (laughs) next up. Adhesive Christ Almighty's. Anyone want to wager a guess at what these are? Band-aids? No, not yet. (laughs) Jesus sticky notes, because regular post-its just won't do. Not only does this booklet contain super convenient tabs, but it also has handy notes to remind users to always be mindful of what Jesus would do and make sure we know that God knows what we do. God always knows. Next up, we have Dashboard Jesus. Jesus on a spring, on your dashboard, bouncing up and down in a particularly distracting fashion. But that's okay, because you can pair it with this Jesus Take the Wheel coffee mug. It doesn't matter what happens because Jesus will always protect you from harm, right? Right? I mean, no Christian has ever died in a car crash, right? 
But if you happen to get in a car accident and Jesus protected you enough so you only got a few scratches, you can cover them up with these Jesus bandages. They claim to be latex free and apparently they aren't. Oh, and each box comes with a free prize inside. Damn it, now I'm going to have to order these. I gotta figure out what's inside the package. Oh well, I've spent six bucks on worse. Ching. Oh, holy toast. It's a Virgin Mary bread stamper. Jesus, fuck, that looks creepy. Wait, oh, here's a pic of what it looks like when it's actually on the toast. Well, that's totally normal and necessary. <laughs> the description says, great for inspired mealtime and after school snacks. Oh, shit. It's hand wash only. Another bad review. And while we're on the topic of food products, how about this Jesus Christ cheese grater? <laughs> this is totally a spoof thing on the bottom. It says, our great Lord. <laughs> I love puns. Finally, by far, my favorite product is this book, Dancing with Jesus. Are you cursed with two left feet? Are your dance moves unrighteous? Do you fear getting down lest others judge you cruelly? Fear not! Salvation is at hand because this book features a host of miraculous moves. Dances include the Water Walk, the Temptation Tango, the Judas Hustle, and more. Oh, and it's frequently bought with this book, which is interesting. Well, thank you guys for checking out this week's Casey's Corner. I hope you had fun reviewing some silly Christian products. I know I did. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to stand up and use your voice. Bye, heathens. That godless engineer and I do. How about we say your name right, AG? <laughs> He's not here today. Hi, y'all. Welcome to KC's Corner. Today, I thought we could have some fun. Prayer cards, Christmas shit. Christmas, Christmas. I sound like, I sound like CC. <laughs> Something just fell off the fucking microphone. <laughs> okay, okay. God always knows.